saw Jackson, I'm going to tell you what I told him. There's no way in hell he's adopting Morgan. Now, I, I, I gave you my word that I would stay away from Morgan. Just drop this ridiculous idea of adoption, because otherwise I will fight you tooth and nail. You really think you're a good father? What have you done for your kids except get them shot, kidnapped, and terrorized? Here we go, it? pointing fingers, blaming everybody but yourself. Christina was attacked. She lied about her attacker because of you. Michael serving a prison sentence really because you had to marry Claudia to increase your territory. Wasn't it Jax who knew that Claudia got Michael shot and didn't say anything? Don't try and flip the blame. This is on you. You know, you, you say that you're a good father, but you have never put your kids first. On the other hand, Jason is voluntarily going to prison so he can protect Michael. I don't see you putting your wrists out for cuffs. Jason's making the ultimate sacrifice just to protect your kid. The only thing you're being asked to do is step aside so Morgan can have a better life, but you can't even do that. Screw you. It's some kind of wonderful carrying the Corinthos name because guess what? It's not. You liked the name well enough to marry me four times? I did. Uh -huh. And I was wrong. See, I can admit that. I was wrong to want you for my kid's father. Now I'm trying to fix it. Get out. Um, you're not taking my son. What do you care? <laughs> I mean, Jax adopting Morgan isn't going to change your life. I mean, you still get to live in the big mansion. You still get to throw your weight around. Yeah, you get to take your private jet to your private island and have all the exotic beach bunnies vie for your attention. See, nothing's going to change for Sonny. And it's not as if you're all tapped out by helping Michael. See, because you've never done that either. That's been Jason. Of course, Jason. And maybe you're mad because he's going inside and it's not me. Am I right? You're damn right. Yeah, yeah. I'm mad about that. Because you know what? Maybe you'd be gone. Then I could be free and clear of Sonny. My biggest regret was getting involved with you. And let's be honest, Sonny, you don't deserve Morgan. You're way too self-centered for anybody. See, I think what you're doing is you're using Morgan as a pawn. You want Jax to adopt him because you know it's going to put a dagger in my heart. You know it's going to hurt me. And you call me selfish? What you should do is look in the mirror. I don't know why you care about Morgan because you still have your precious Dante. Don't even dare imply that I love Dante more than my other I'm not children. implying it, I'm saying it straight out. The second you found out that Dante was your son, man, you locked on. Despite the fact Dante told you to your face that you guys will never have a warm and fuzzy relationship because Dante is just plain not interested. He's a cop. You're a criminal. But for some reason, you won't hear the truth. You want to live in this stupid fantasy where Dante and Sonny have this amazing relationship. You know, I forget how, how good you are, the queen of deflection. You, you think that if you go on and on about Dante, that I'll forget about the real issue, which is that your husband will never adopt my son. Dante is very much a part of this because Morgan's brother was thrown in prison because you were too blind to the danger that Dante posed to Michael. I'm not going to sacrifice another son on the altar of Dante Falconeri. Jax is Morgan's father, and every way that counts, all that's left is making it legal. You will never take my son! Well, it's already done! I don't care! Stop it! Stop fighting! I'll do whatever you guys want! Can you hear that? Me too, baby. Come here. I hate it when you guys fight. It's scary. We both did. We're just, we're just so afraid for Michael and we're angry with ourselves. You know what, lashing out is really not good for anybody to do and it's a bad habit and we need to break it. Listen to me, come here. I came here to uh, pick a fight with your mom because I was angry at myself for not being able to do what I uh, always wanted to do, and that's protect my kids. And I couldn't do that, not even close, not with Michael, not with Christina, but with you, I still have a shot. I love you very, very much. And I need to stop talking about love and acting on it in the, in the best way I know how to do that is, uh, uh, to let you go. 
I want you to have a, a, a great life, okay? I want you to uh, have every opportunity that you could have, you know? Okay? I want you to grow up smart, everything, brave, the whole thing. And uh, my lifestyle, can't I, I can't give you what you deserve, okay? okay. Jack's, Jack's lifestyle can give you that. All right. Now, listen, um, Jax is going to be there for you. He's going to be your new, your, your new father figure, and he's going to do right by you, okay? Num? Uh, okay. I love you. This isn't about whether, you know, how much I love you and all that. This is about the opposite of that. I'm showing you how much I love you by letting go, okay? Give me a kiss. Bye. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. It's all right. Thank <laughs> you.